An estimated 90% of India's ceramic products come from the state of Gujarat. But the industry has struggled in recent years. First, companies started replacing workers with machines, leaving many ceramicists without jobs. Then, weakened demand forced many of those factories to pause production or shut down completely. This company has stayed afloat, but it hasn't been easy. Today, 56 years old, I work for less than 12 hours. To keep potters working, owner Mansukh Bhai Prajapati combined traditional handmade techniques with machinery. Then he set out to tackle a big problem. Many of his customers don't have regular access to electricity. So Mansukh Bhai designed appliances completely out of clay, like refrigerators and pressure cookers that don't need power. And they had to be cheap. So far, his strategies have been a success. The company tripled its product portfolio in a decade and set itself apart in a region that's been famous for ceramics for centuries. We visited the Mitti Kool factory in Gujarat, India, to find out how Mansukh Bhai and his team produce thousands of pieces of ceramic cookware every day. Mansukh Bhai's family has made ceramics for generations, but it's only in the last 10 years that he's made a living from it. That's thanks to a sweet spot between machine-made and handmade. It all starts with the clay. It's sourced domestically within India or melted from old ceramics. This machine does the melting. It's called a boil mill. 1000 kilo mitti aur 500 kilo pani. Ye iske andar dal ke hum isko 12 ghante tak isko ghumate hain. After 12 hours they get a liquid clay. It needs to be thickened with dry powdered ceramic. Jaise ki isme aap dekh rahe hain jo paka hua boil mill mein se mitti aur pani dono mix ho gaya hai 12 ghante chal gaya hai grinding ho gaya hai. Usko humne ye vibrating chaana ke andar dal diya hai. It's then churned with what's called a blunger to stop the clay from settling. A blunger के माध्यम से ये liquid को घुमा रहे हैं, मतलब मिट्टी को घुमा रहे हैं। ये नीचे बैठने नहीं देते क्योंकि मिट्टी और पानी जुदा भी नहीं होना चाहिए। ये हमारी main process है। Once it's time to use the clay, it's pumped into this big metal container. Workers pour in natural dye for a uniform color. आधा घंटा के बाद ये लिक्विड को हम वापस निकाल लेंगे क्योंकि ये निकालने के बाद जितनी थिकनेस रहेगी वो ही हमारा कप होगा ग्लास होगा मोल्ड होगा या टू मेक अ प्रेशर कुकर दे मोल्ड इट यूजिंग अ हाइड्रोलिक प्रेस तो इसको 1000 डिग्री में ये कुकर को हमने बेक किया है पकाया है वर्कर्स फिनिश इट ऑफ यूजिंग दिस मशीन कॉल्ड एन इलेक्ट्रिक चॉक जितना फिनिशिंग अच्छा हो इतनी क्वालिटी अच्छी दिखेगी but to make pots, artisans use this wheel. Much of this work is still done the way it's always been done, by hand. They carefully join the top and bottom pieces of the pot together. It takes a lot of skill, but an experienced artisan can finish a piece in minutes. Once an item is properly molded, it goes into a rolling kiln. Kilns like this have always been used to cook ceramics, but they used to be dangerous. किलन पकाते थे तो इसकी धुआं की वजह से हमारा फेफसा है वो सब खराब हो जाते थे। Some kilns burned plastics and old tires too. It was so unhealthy many ceramicists died young. मेरा दादा भी चार भाई थे एक भी भाई 50 years पूरा जीवंत नहीं रहे। But Mansukh Bhai's kiln is different. इसके बदले हमने ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी किया कि कोई भी जगह पे धुआं भी न हो और उसको हेल्थ को कोई भी प्रकार के नुकसान न हो। and it cooks the clay at the perfect temperature. And in the kitchen product, we use it at least 900,000 degrees to bake it at least 900,000 degrees. Too little heat and the ceramic won't harden. Too much heat and it'll crack. Six hours later, the items have hardened fully. We keep our item in the kitchen. We keep it in the rank. After the rank, we have to keep it in the rank. Technician admi is ko check karte hai, usko hum dhone ke baad hum peking karte hai. While Mansukh Bhai's ceramics still have handmade parts, that hasn't been the case for most Indian companies in years. Starting in the mid-90s, industrialization swept Gujarat's ceramic industry. 
Machines took over most of the production process, and it left most artisans like Mansook Bhai's father without work. Our father and father did the same work. But it was a lot of work in this job, and it was a lot of money in this job. But Mansook Bhai believed he could do better than his predecessors. 20 years ago, after reading about one of India's most devastating earthquakes, Mansook Bhai shifted gears to focus on solving a huge problem. And in the heading, it was written that the poor people were broken. So in my mind, there was an idea that there was a dream that there is a dream that if we have a free house in our house, it is good. It took four years to finalize the design for the Mitti Cool refrigerator. It can keep perishable food cool for up to a week. And it never needs electricity. Because we saw the electric fridge, it's cold from light, but we didn't need it as much as we needed it, we didn't need it as much as we needed it. Mansook Bhai's fridge cost $40, about one-third the price of an electric one. We got a new product, and it was like this, that it's not a good fridge for the poor people, it's good for their health, it's good for their environment, so it's good for the poor people, it's good for the poor people, it's good for the poor people. Because of the fridge sales, Mitti Cool's production is picking up, while hundreds of other ceramic companies in the area passed production. In the past year, online sales have jumped, and the company employs 150 people, mostly women. Mansook Bhai tripled his current portfolio of 350 products to include handmade tiles, exterior products, and murals. I daily 25,000, that 25,000 pieces production and it is going to India and out of India. So the main advantage is that 25,000 pieces per day go to any house. And I am not, now there are 10,000 families. So they are doing this work. 